Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we'll be looking at how you can conduct a poll within Google Meet. Now let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, conducting a poll in Google Meet has been made super easy with this new functionality. Now, this is available to enterprise users. Hopefully, it'll be coming to other versions as well. But in the meantime, this is an enterprise-only version. Now, let's jump into our Google Meet and look at polls. Now, here you can see I have a Meet prepared with five students. Now, these five students are here and they each have their own color. Now, I want to quickly poll their understanding of a subject. And so, I'm going to start a poll. Here in the top corner, you'll see that I have a number of different activities. And when I click on that, polls is one of the choices. So let's go ahead and click on this polls option. This opens up a new menu and I can start my poll here. Now I can set it up. So let's go ahead and ask a question. What is your favorite color? Now again, you can use anything you want. This doesn't have to be a very basic one. You can have full sentence answers as the options. I'm just going to add red, green and then click on the plus icon for more options let's add blue as well let's add purple and pink there we go now as you can see there's a little notice there that says names and answers will be recorded and so this is not an anonymous poll you will get access to all the information and answers your students have given you so let's go ahead and launch our poll now, as soon as I click on launch, you will see that I get a neat little overview here of all the answers that have come in. I can toggle this here to show everyone the results, or I can leave it off for now. Let's go ahead and have a look at what this looks like to our students. I'm going to jump into my first student's account. This is my first student, and they will see a little notification in the top area. Here you can see that something has been activated, and when they click on that, they will see that there is a new poll active. That poll, allows them to now answer the question. Let's say that this student says that red is their favorite color. They're going to vote. The second demo account is going to do something very different. This person is going to say that green is their favorite color. The third demo account will do a similar one. They will also choose green. And as votes are coming in, you can see here that the teacher sees an overview of all the answers that are being submitted. Now, as they come in, the teacher sees those answers come in. Say that I'm ready to stop this poll, I can now end the poll and choose to show everyone the results. So when I toggle this here, everyone will now see the results of this poll. So let's just go ahead and open up our demo account and you will see that these are the results of that poll. Now they can also see that the poll has been ended and so even if they chose green right now, nothing would happen. Now I can jump back onto my teacher's account and simply create a new poll. Now, because I've already ended this poll, I can't relaunch it or reopen the poll. I can always create an additional poll and you can create multiple polls all at the same time. So as your lesson continues, you can have all those polls in the polls option and students can just submit answers as they continue their lesson. Now, I find this incredibly useful. It is a great feature to have in Google Meet without having to use an external platform or having to jump between apps or open up a Google Forms everything within a single platform, Google Meet. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I've got even more videos all on Google Meet right there, or you can watch one of the suggested videos down below. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.